Hey, today I wanted to show you how to do an Invisible Man effect, which is a really cool visual effect, which makes your character look completely invisible. It's a great mixture of practical and CGI elements, so let's dive right in and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is open After Effects. We'll create a new project and we'll import the footage. We'll drag the footage into the timeline and we can scrub through the footage. So you can see that uh, we have a shot of a wall and the actor is walking past and he's wearing a green morph suit underneath his clothes and he's wearing a hat. So he walks past the shot and what we have to do is key out this green and reveal the wall behind him as well as uh, being able to see part of the shirt here as he walks past. So the first thing we want to do is actually get a backplate. So we'll go to the end of the shot and we can see that we have a few seconds of just blank wall and we want to use that in the shot. So we'll go edit split layer and just move it to the start of the shot and we want it to be freeze frame so just right click go time freeze frame and drag it all the way out just so it's a, a still shot and we'll put it underneath the footage we'll rename the bottom layer backplate and this layer footage And we'll just navigate to the part of the shot we want to use. So just before he appears in shot, we'll press B. And we'll go to the end of the shot and press N. So now we can right click the work area and go trim comp to work area. So now we just have that a few seconds as the actor walks past. So now what we want to do is key out this green. So we'll select footage and go effect keying key light. And in the key light effect pane, we can press this eyedropper and we'll just select the green area here. So we see that we can see a little bit of the back plate showing through. And we can adjust the screen gain. And in the screen map, we can adjust the clip black and clip white just to make the effect a little bit more convincing. We see that we're actually losing part of the hat here and we're going to have to fill in uh, the back of the hat that we can't see so we can do that a bit later. So as we scrub through we see where we have a basic effect but we just need to clean it up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to track the actor as he walks through the shot and we use that to rotoscope this area here that needs to be cleaned up. So we'll double click footage, we'll go window tracker and in the tracker pane select track motion and we see that a track point has been, has been created. So what we want to do is just track the green area of his face. Analyze forward. Okay, so we're tracked through the shot and we see that the tracker is following the actor's face. So what we want to do is add this motion to a null object. So we'll go layer new null object and select the footage, go edit target and apply the motion to the null. Select apply and OK. So now we see that the null follows uh, the actor as he moves across the shot. And now what we want to do is create a mask layer where we can clean up uh, some of this area here and make the effect 
more realistic. So we'll go layer new solid. We'll make it blue. Make comp size and OK. Now I'll just hide the layer for a second. And what we want to do is go to the mask, go to the pen tool, and just draw a mask just roughly around this area here. around the collar like that and now we'll unhide it and we just want to move the anchor point to the middle of the mask so just select the pan behind tool just find the anchor point and just move it into the center here Now what we want to do is parent it to the null. So in the parent column, grab the pick whip and just parent it to the null. So now if we move through the shot, we see that the mask actually follows the character as he moves through the shot. So just un so just hide that solid. And we want to put it just above the footage layer. And what we want to do is in the track map column, select alpha inverted. Now if we move across the shot we see that it's really cleaned up the shot for us. And we just need to refine the part of the shot where the character moves into shot. So we can just quickly keyframe that. You just go frame by frame. Just make sure that the mask is lining up with our character. So now that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now we can add a, a feather to the mask just to make it blend a little bit more. We'll just go five five pixels. Now what we have to do is just add this uh, part of the hat that's being uh, obscured by the actor's head. And the way we're going to do that is we're actually going to use a 3D object. Uh, you can't actually import OBJ files into After Effects, but there is a workaround that we're going to use which is using Photoshop. So what we're going to do is open Photoshop and go file open. Now we just have this hat uh, 3D model that I got online. Uh, so we'll just open that in Photoshop and just click OK. Great, so now we have this 3D hat object that we can just rotate around and have a look and we can basically use any any angle that we want so what we want to do is just match the angle of the hat with the shot that we have so we just want a little bit of the underside of the hat there so just something like this would work So just make sure you have the right angle there. And then we'll just save it. Now we can go back to After Effects and go File, Import File, and just select the Photoshop file and click OK. Now we can drag it into the comp and we see now we have this hat image that we can resize. And what we want to do is just move it to where we want it roughly to, to be. Put it underneath the footage layer. Where we can just move it 
so it matches up roughly with uh, the hat object there. And what we want to do now is parent it to the null object, which has the motion of the hat. So in the, with the pick whip, just select the null object. And now if we scrub through, we see that the underside of the hat is actually matching up with our motion. We see that it needs a little bit of refining, but the basic effect is there. We'll just need a keyframe to start and some of the rotation here, but this is something that we can just keyframe. frame it just scrub through frame by frame just to check that it's looking okay so we just want to make sure that the color of the uh, underside of the hat matches the color of the hat in the shot so we can just do that with an effect color correction curves and just make it a little bit lighter need be, maybe add a bit of blue. So now what we want to do is just add a little bit of the, the shirt that's being obscured here at the start of the shot. So we're going to do the same thing uh, with Photoshop. So just go back to Photoshop, go File, Open. And here in the shirt folder, we have an OBJ that we're going to open. Just click OK. And now you see that we've got a shirt here. Now we can move around. And we see that's blue, so we want to just change it to white. So we just click the paint bucket, selecting white, and just select it. So now it's white. Now we just need to rotate it uh, so it matches the shot. So we just need to rotate it at a three quarter angle. So something like that would suit us. We can just move this light around as well. And then we can go File, Save As, Shirt. And now we can open it up in After Effects. There's our shirt. And we can move it behind our footage and we can move it into place so it matches roughly our shot and we want to parent it to the null so we'll move the anchor point just to the center of the collar there and then with the pick whip we'll parent it to the null object and we see now that It's moving with our actor, and we can refine it just by keyframe, keyframing it. Create some keyframes, and then just frame by frame, just check the position. And then, lastly, with this, uh, with the shirt layer and the hat layer, we can just add a bit of motion blur. which will just help with the illusion.
And there you have it. That's how you do an invisible man effect. I hope you found this tutorial useful. There's so many different uses for this kind of effect. So have a play around and I hope you found this tutorial useful.